Hey everybody, I'm live, I'm live, it's live. Where is everybody? Hello, there you are, hi. Um, I just wanted to say uh, briefly that I wanted to thank you guys for all the support for Superpower so far. Um, I'm really proud of the song and I'm really excited that it is out, finally. Um, yeah, and I guess if anybody has any questions to ask, I will answer them. But otherwise, I just want to say thank you. I hope it makes you dance. Um, we had so much fun filming this video. Uh, uh, it was like last month uh, in Brooklyn, and it was so fucking hot. <laughs> and I had to wear that green suit, um, which, by the way, was um, custom made by Edward Sexton in the UK. Um, he's famous tailor, uh, Tommy Nutter's um, partner from back in the day. They were making suits for people like the Beatles and Bowie and Elton John. Um, Queen might have, you know, Brian May may have worn one of them, he thinks. I don't know. They were quite well known. So, so yeah, I loved that suit. I had to wear it, but I was sweating my ass off. Um, and it was all worth it. And the amazing dancers in the video... Um, one of which is somebody that some of you guys might recognize, Terrence Spencer, my buddy, my brother, my friend who's been on tour with me numerous times. Um, when I found out that we were in New York to do the video, where he lives now, I, I called him immediately. I was like, come dance in the video, please. Um, what else? How are you guys doing? I am accepting Questions, ladies and gentlemen, I'm accepting questions. Um, I never know what to say on these things. I'm so sorry. I'm, I'm so awkward. <laughs> yes, you saw Terrence. Yes, exactly. Hi from Scotland. Hello. Hello back to Scotland. What is your message to us in Superpower? Well... You know, I, it's pretty literal. I mean, I think that, um, I think everyone can relate to the feeling of being um, left out or held back from something or uh, discriminated against or bullied. Um, and that song was written to sort of fight back. Um, and obviously not with violence, obviously with um, with pride, to fight back with confidence, to fight back with the self-assuredness that um, you're allowed to be exactly who you want to be and you should fight for that. And um, if anybody has a problem with it, fuck them. Simple as that. I know for me, I think it took me, I, I go in cycles, you know, I always knew this deep down, but I think with this music that I'm putting out now in this chapter of my life, I think getting back to the idea of what my personal superpower is and that personal superpower is being myself. And I think all of you out there um, have that same power. You all have the power to be exactly who you want to be. And right now is a really interesting time in the world, and in the US particularly, where uh, there's a lot of division, there's a lot of controversy, there's a lot of tension, things going down. Um, and now more than ever is a time for us to stand up for ourselves. I could keep rambling if I really needed to, but I won't put you guys all through that. I'm looking at your questions. I adore you too. <laughs> oh, Millie! Our amazing director, Millicent. Uh, how did you feel snatching your own wig? Yeah, that was like a really funny uh, idea that came it kind of came out of the idea that we were talking about how do we make this video look sort of like a continuation from where the last video left off. And in Coming In Hot, the last video, I am hanging out on this white vintage Cadillac with um, our goddess, Miss Shelley, who I love. And at the end of the video, she whispers something to me and she has this power over people, sort of this power of amour, like to create love and connection amongst all these amazing people at the club. But if you notice in the video, it's sort of like it's not happening to me, like the, the spell isn't working on me. And I guess I wanted to kind of 
suggest that maybe she gave me the secret. And that's the next step of the video, and that's superpower. Um, so I'm driving that same car, and I'm in the same outfit, and I had cut my hair, so we were like, I, can I, I, I asked Millie, I was like, maybe I, I have like a wig so it looks like the end of the last video, but I don't want that hair the whole time because I'm kind of in this new hairstyle now. And she's like, well, why don't you just rip it off and throw it in the air? And that's what we did. And it's pretty funny. And also you guys, Millie is awesome. It was so much fun working with her. Um, it was super collaborative. Um, and even though it was fucking hot, we had a great time. You know that bit where the ice cream is melted, the poor little girl with the ice cream cone, uh, and then I give her another ice cream cone? You should have seen us trying to keep the ice cream from melting. Like there was a whole cooler with ice of cartons of ice cream and they were liquid. It was just, <laughs> it was so funny. Oh, cool, you saw the Queen concert in Nashville, right on. Yeah, the Queen tour that that just finished was a blast. Um, you know, we've done North America before, but it was great to come back around, especially after the movie, because uh, I, I noticed in the audience there were definitely people that had seen us live before, but I think there were a lot of people that had not seen us live, not me and them together. So that was really exciting. Who else, guys? Any other questions? Any other comments? I hope you're loving um, Superpower, by the way. Um, and there's more fun music where that came from with the, the EP, which comes out on the 27th of September. Um, I think if I had to tell you about the other songs and what they feel like, it, uh, you know, Superpower is really a groove-based song. You know, it's about like a beat with a great bass riff and a guitar riff. And I've always loved music that has a groove, a pocket to sing in, in between. And uh, most of the other songs on the EP follow that same approach where it's a great groove and then the vocal is built around that. And there's also one ballad in there that I think you guys will really like. That I was actually in the studio uh, uh, the day before yesterday working on. So um, I'm still finishing stuff. That means it's going to be nice and fresh. There is a live performance. There's, there's a few live performances of Superpower coming. I'm, I've been so busy that I can't even remember when and where exactly, but they're coming, I swear. Television. What else, guys? Any other questions? Anybody? Touring, yeah, you know, um, definitely when the rest of the, when the other EP comes out and it's a full album, I definitely plan to put a tour together because I can't wait to perform this music live for all of you. Hopefully internationally, hopefully this will be something that I can travel around and do all around the world. And that means, yes, U UK and Montreal would be awesome. Um... You're excited to hear Lover Boy? Yes, that's a fun one. That is a fun tune. Did I write any? I um, co-wrote everything on the EP, actually, and I, I am the executive producer of this project as well. This is really my baby. This is my passion project. Um, uh, I, I had to kind of stand my ground in creating this type of music. Um, and I feel really, I feel really good about that. I feel like, um, I feel proud because it's, it's what I really wanted to make. Oh my God, look at this zit, you guys. Oh, this is how it goes. Everyone's got their insecurities and you know what? Sometimes my skin drives me crazy. So I'll just zoom out. <laughs> Can I teach a dance video? Oh man, you actually should have seen me on set with the choreographer teaching me some moves literally moments before we shot. 
Um, I, I'm not a dance teacher, so no, that's probably not going to happen. <laughs> Anything else, my friends? Actually, I have a question for you guys. What's your superpower? Huh? What do you think it is? And that can be, what would you want your superpower to be if you were like a superhero, like something magical, or what your actual real life superpower is? I'd like to know. What do you guys think? Do you do your own makeup? I always do my own makeup, actually, almost, like nine times out of 10. I love playing with makeup, I always have. Um, I remember being a little kid and uh, like after school, like going into my mom's makeup drawer and playing with their stuff and trying to make it look like I wasn't, you know, it was like a secret and my mom always knew. And I remember she would come to me and be like, can you please stop touching my stuff? Please stop, this is mine, this is my makeup, not yours. And I said, well then you, can you please buy me some of my own? And she was like, oh, okay. <laughs> But yes, in the video, actually, in the video, um, there was a makeup artist in the video, and um, I definitely asked for green to match the suit, kind of like how I have today, and um, she did a great job. Do I have a stylist? Um, I work with stylists from time to time, but I do a lot of it myself as well, because uh, I like clothes, I like shopping. But I've definitely met some stylists and had some projects where they've come in handy and have done a lot and helped a lot. And hair is the same. Sometimes I have hair people, sometimes I do it myself. I, I'm kind of m more of a DIY guy than some other artists that I've heard of. And I, I, maybe it's a, me being a control freak or maybe it's me wanting to save some money. I don't know. Um, but I really don't mind doing it myself. Please explain the green. Um, I just like that, that color. <laughs> Simple as that. I'm like really into emerald green right now. It's like, it's just, I like it. Nails, show us your nails. They're like dark green right now. Yep, control freak, yep. <laughs> Anything else guys? I'd love to answer some questions if you have any. A makeup tutorial, I don't know. I don't know if I'm going to do that. <laughs> I'm not a beauty blogger, you know? That's not my thing. But I would, and you can mark my words, I would love to develop some beauty products. That'd be fun. Some, maybe some nail polish, maybe some eye makeup along the line. Something, something soon. Love the short hair. <laughs> yeah, that, that long hair was definitely polarizing. Some of you really were feeling it. Some of you really weren't. I saw what you guys were writing on my, my, uh, <laughs> my feed. That always cracks me up, actually. I'll, I'll make a comment about that, that sometimes, I, you know, it's a free country. Everybody's ex entitled to express themselves. And, you know, I post stuff and you guys all comment on it and most most of everything is really supportive but every once in a while of course there's somebody that writes something like critical um, what is the reason behind that you think I'm gonna listen to you cuz I'm not ever I do what I want <laughs> and that's what all of you guys should do and that's what like superpower is about it's like you know what be you do what you want to do as long as you're not hurting anybody or you know screwing anybody over in the process who gives a shit what anybody else thinks? Fuck that shit. Pop off. That's what I, exactly right.
trying to read these messages. Does any, anybody have any questions? Anybody? Anyway, I'm going to bounce because I have another thing to go do. I'm doing promo here in New York City tonight and tomorrow. I'm going to be visiting a bunch of radio stations tomorrow morning. And yeah, it's exciting. I'm so glad you guys love Superpower. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Please share it with your friends, uh, on your stories, on your feeds. I appreciate all the help. And uh, let's get everybody to listen to this song. It's catchy. Hopefully you're humming it. And hopefully you're dancing to it. Oh, and I have some remixes coming out eventually, soon-ish, um, that we're finalizing right now that should be pretty cool. Uh, and that's that. I'm going to sign off. I love you guys. Bye. <laughs>